Let, let me take moving away. Let's be easy for you. Theta, this angle is phi. The length of the rod is L. Is asking the angular velocity of this. So the angular velocity of the rod will come. Okay, get into the mathematics now. The what is the displacement of which? Displacement of which shall I write x w? The dx w by dt is what we know, and d theta by dt is what the angular velocity of the rod. This angle. This will be one eighty minus phi. So this will be. Uh, phi minus or or let me take some other beta. This angle will be one eighty minus phi, and this is L no. So let, let me directly go for sine rule, x w by sine of Sine beta should be equal to L by sine of sir. Ah, uh, in the question they have mentioned it is moving left left side, no sir. Okay, no, no problem. No, just only to the negative signs to avoid that one. The speed will be same, no. Omega will be in opposite sense. Okay, sir. Just. Yes, Sine of one eighty minus five will be this one. So what is sine beta? Sine beta will be. I'll, I'll write one more step. Uh, beta will be phi minus theta. I think the best thing is let me differentiate this. Dx w by dt is equal to. Uh, what is omega? From where to bring omega? Uh, so I think I'm I'm very sure that omega is what minus dt and dx w by dt is plus v. Or, or according to the question, if it is towards left, no, then this will be negative. This will be positive. Uh, it, it's left to you because most of the problems. We do take like this will be connected to pulley. That that's why I just wanted to have that condition. If you move the wedge towards left, no, this will be negative. This will be positive. So most of our problems will be this particular wedge. I'll I'll take a string. I'll pass or pulley. I'll suspend one block. Then I'll I'll trouble you with motion of connecting bodies. That's why I just wanted you to in that case. Or else I'll change. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll change it. What is there in this one? Then this will be negative. This will be positive. Then the angular velocity will be. Okay, great. This will be. Uh, then this will differentiate. L sine of sine of one eighty minus phi will be sine phi cos of phi minus theta. Minus of d theta by theta dx by dw is minus v. Negative sign will cancel out, so therefore this omega equal to l sine phi by uh, v v v should be then. Okay, be careful. Some say what actually we go, we get troubled by what like instantaneous center. Nothing wrong, but this will be mathematical approach. I just took mathematical approach. Sir, ah, can we say velocity along common normal is equal? Ah, okay, fine. It must be no. Then will there be? By that point. also we can get. Yeah, yeah, you'll yeah, we'll get very easily. Yeah, that that's why I see. I think you are having now multiple approaches. Sir. Velocity along common normal should be equal. That you equate. Yeah, actually, the rod is what rotating about instant center. Take that, but it's a engine, no? 
So therefore, I think instant center idea will not come. It's a fixed. This one. Sorry, instant center should not be applied. If this is free, then then okay, things would have been different here. As it is inch, it will rotate about this point only. Uh, I think there are only two things. Sir. Let me not confuse you. One, the mathematics is what I shown. Sign rule. Otherwise, velocity along common normal equal to three. It should be equal. You you may have one rod. Okay, I'll rotate this rod. What is the angular velocity of other rod? I think can be asked. So what are the types of numericals you can expect is that from this, there's a one rod. Okay, this one. So then, then. Some other color I take it. Both are inch. So let, let, let me just analyze so that will be I will rotate this rod with angles to omega one. This making an angle theta at this tension. This is theta two. I'll ask you what is the angle velocity of this rod. So what should be your approach? You have multiple ideas with you. You have multiple ideas with you. If I give this length of the rod L, okay, that one velocity along common normal should be equal because they're in contact, no. This will be, or go for a sign rule. What what you feel best, or when you go for it. Okay, find the angular velocity of the other rod. Find angular velocity. Both are inch here. Both are both are inch. Okay, just uh, be ready for all so very generalized things, huh? constraint equations. Uh, so, so shall I suggest you like uh, all the multiple ideas, constraint equation? If they are inch, no question of inch in center. If it is set free, then inch in center will come. This is the thing. So velocity along common normal, sine rule or cosine rule or the any constraint equations if you want to bring constraint equations take the next one 